Welcome to Sports Live from Allen Fieldhouse. The Jayhawks eke out the win, but perhaps a little too close for comfort. Kansas led by seven in the final two minutes and 30 seconds. Then the Mountaineers battle all the way back, make it a one-point game. Then they get the basketball in the closing seconds, down just two with a chance to win it. But West Virginia doesn't even get a shot up. Called for a traveling violation, and Kansas holds on. So it's the defensive stand that you can say stands out in this one as Kansas wins 76 to 74. Dewan Harris Jr., boy, was he good today. 10 in the first half, finishes with 17 points, and of course his teammates had high praise after the big win. Juan was terrific. Uh, did everything that we needed him to do today and more as far as, you know, how efficient he was on both ends of the floor. Um, you know, being the floor general that he is and that we need him to be, he was everything that we needed. And, um, you know, especially today with, uh, you know, how, how quick their guards were, he did a great job on both ends as far as getting to the paint, creating for himself and us, and uh, also getting stops. And to think after losing what we lost that you could come in here and, you know, have a chance to control your own destiny and, and win a league championship at home, at least cl clinch a tie, uh, to me that's pretty special. So uh, I, I certainly hope that we prepare in a way that uh, and the fans appreciate how hard that's been on our guys and, and what a good level and high level they played at for the most part all year long. It's a win that you might wish they had done a little bit better job of closing out. Maybe they caused you Jayhawk fans some stress out there, but a close win like this could certainly prepare them for the postseason. Now, in case you missed it, Texas did lose today. They were tied with KU, now Kansas alone at the top of the Big 12. And if they win their next game in just a few days, they can clinch at least a share, if not outright, the Big 12 regular season title. Of course, we've got Turnpike Tussle basketball to talk about. We'll do that back here on 27 News at 10. But for now, we got to send it over to Laney Gerber in Stillwater with Wildcat Hoops. Working for you live in Allen Fieldhouse, Glenn Kinley, 27 Sports.